The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization recently inscribed the Syrian traditional glass blowing technique on the list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity, a declaration that Syrians hope will contribute to consolidating their efforts to keep alive this artistic craft that emerged in Syria more than 2,000 years ago. Let's watch the following report by our correspondent, Himshan Wanus. In the ancient city of Damascus, where the mosque embraced the churches in a true atmosphere of peace and harmony, is located the modest glass-blowing workshop of the veteran Syrian craftsman Mohammed al-Alaq, whose family is among the few Syrian families active in this field, and that thanks to his dedication and perseverance, he managed to save this ancient craftsmanship that dates back to the 9th century BC and succeeding in having it inscribed on UNESCO's representative list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity. With the support of the Secretary of Syrian Development, after more than two and a half years of effort and daily monitoring, we have achieved this dream of inscribing this craftsmanship in the list of intangible cultural heritage of UNESCO, a matter that fills us with pride because with this step we are managing to preserve part of our this craftsmanship heritage and to know that more than 60 years of work have not been in vain. This profession was on the verge of disappearing, but thanks to the efforts of veteran Muhammad, new generations of glassblowing artisans were formed and this technique was preserved despite the difficulties resulting from the war and the blockade. And we hope that with the support of UNESCO, this profession can be kept alive and that we as new generations of artisans can fulfill this mission. Traditional glass blowing in Damascus is a craft that remained within specific families, but today is passed on to those who wish to learn the true art of making glass materials from leftover pieces of glass, which the artisan introduces inside a handmade brick kiln until they melt and are transformed into a paste that is rolled around the tip of a hollow metal rod on which it is blown to inflate the reddish glass and immediately, with the help of a large metal tongues, it is given the desired shape. Despite all the difficulties, such as the shortage of diesel and electricity and the lack of labor and raw materials, we will continue working to preserve this craft that we have inherited from our parents and grandparents, and we hope that the new generations can follow this path. This craft is an essential part of our traditional heritage, and it is a full of art, creativity, and emotions because each piece of glass carries parts of our souls as artisans and is a reflection of our creative imagination. I have been working in this profession for almost two and a half months and I advise all the girls to live this experience because glass blowing is part of our past and our history and today we work to preserve it and make it part of our future. Artisans finish their work with the use of a powder pigment to color it during the melting process or to decorate it with the help of a stylus, once cool and solid. On many occasions, cultural symbols are drawn or engraved on the glass with the use of a white, blue, green, and crimson colors, as well as the incorporation of gold-plated ornaments. Glass blowing is an artistic craftsmanship that is part of Syria's traditional heritage and, like other craftwork, has been weakened by the foreign imposed terrorist war and economic blockade. But thanks to the commitment and determination of Syrian craft veterans, it has been preserved and remains a living testimony to the failure of the plans of the terrorists and their Western sponsors to erase the cultural identity of the Syrian people. Cultural del pueblo sirio. Hisham Anus Telesur, Damasco, Siria.